a shot. You didn't even cheers oh, me. Oh, cheers. Ah! And she wants another one. Oh my god, no. I love you. I love you. I did that for uh, you. I can't even drink the whole day. I'm pathetic. I can't believe how much alcohol you drank. Ah. I can't feel my lips. Why? I don't know, I drank too much. Oh my god. Or like the new Tres Amigas. Those idiotas. What is that? Idiota. Idiots? <laughs> Are you gonna take a tour of Baldwin's house? Oh, It'll yeah. take you like an hour to go through it. Seriously, it's so fing. It has a nightclub. I can never live like that. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> 8,000 square feet is way is too much. Is it really? Is it 8,000 square feet? I thought I had a big house. I rent an 8,000 square foot home. You're an asshole. Like, you're an asshole. Who does that? I don't know. It's like taking <laughs> like $20,000 a month and like ripping it up and throwing it in the trash can. 1,000 square foot per child. <laughs> yes. I think that when it comes to Bronwyn, it's all just smoke and mirrors, and her house is kind of part of that. I firmly believe she is completely full of shit. Where's the money come from? I don't think he has a real job, so I'm confused. Hooker. She's a hooker? Him. He's 100%. <laughs> is that what the sex apartment is? There's transactions. I can't imagine anybody sleeping with him with those necklaces. <laughs> His immunity idol? <laughs> I feel bad because really, you know, Robin was sorry. texting me while I was talking shit about her. Let's give her a call. You want to call her? Yep. We're going to call Bronwyn. Are you serious right now? You think I'm not serious? Okay. Let's call Bronwyn. Yes. Have fun. Thank you. We're in a van? Hey, come get in. Oh, you're driving. There's a fear that I'm gonna lose Shannon as a friend because we've always been drinking buddies. Come on, Brian, let's show how we did it. I was hoping maybe we could go out and have a cocktail. <laughs> or two, or you two. twist my arm. How are you? I'm a lot of things right now. Um, did you talk to Tamara today? Pretty she much every day. My mom called her. Called her? <clears throat> Talk to her. I'm not sure who called who. And she's like, oh yeah, I talked to Tamara today and said some I probably shouldn't have because I've asked my mom not to talk about me. What did she say? I mean, I don't understand. There's just stuff like I'm dealing with. I'm, I'm dealing with a lot right now. Oh my God, my head is pounding. Are you still on your cleanse? <laughs> I love how you say cleanse because you know I'm lying to you. <laughs> <sighs> no, I'm not on a cleanse. I'm just not drinking right now. I pick up on stuff. That is to new beginnings. I'm not drinking right Cheers. now. Cheers. I'm gonna cleanse. Somebody's having baby number eight, and there is no doubt in my mind that Bronwyn is pregnant. That's exciting. It's not really. It actually sucks, and I hate it, and I'm miserable. I can't drink anymore. Like, I can't. Okay, so I'm like thinking something totally different. You think I'm pregnant? I know. Is that pregnant? I'm not pregnant. I'm an alcoholic, I think. Annabelle, can I take a picture of you by your cake? Yeah. Okay, look at mom. Okay. Perfect. Annabelle turning seven is so weird to me. She like talks with her hands on her hips all the time and she has an attitude and she went from like a little girl to like a 17 year old. It's sad, I cry at night. Okay, Bronwyn's gonna come and she's gonna bring some of her kids and then Gina's gonna come. But the other night when I was at Bronwyn's house, she basically admitted that she has a problem with alcohol. But she asked me not to tell. So then Gina was commenting on Bronwyn's drinking and how she's always drunk. So I was just in an awkward position where I was like, yeah, she drinks all the time. Kind of well, like. Well, if you promise not to tell, then you shouldn't tell. Right, but then I felt badly because I was kind of joining in the like, yeah, she, she's drunk all the time. So now what? Well, now they're both going to be here and they're both mad at each other. Then you came up with the magnificent idea of inviting them both here. Yes. If there's a problem, I'll just eject one of them. Hey, Sky. 
Annabelle, come say hi to Sky and Gia. Hi, happy birthday. Thank you. Ooh, thanks for having us. Hello. 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 Oh, the cat mom. Hi. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're not in the middle of nowhere. We're in Laguna Niguel. Hi, Mom. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. Hi, nice to see you again. Good Thanks guys. for coming. Of course. Oh, look at that balloon, you guys. Oh, the kitty balloon. That's like the super price. I'm not interested in engaging in a fight at a child's birthday party. And I called Emily and I said, you know, do you want me to stay home? I understand if you do. I think Gina is mature enough, and I, I don't see her, like, okay. like attacking you or getting out. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a problem. I think we can both put on our big girl panties for long enough to get through three hours of cake and balloons. Hello. Hi. Hi. Happy birthday, Mom. Oh, yeah, thank you. Look how cute you guys are. Do you want a sparkling water? That'd be awesome, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, it's so cute. It almost makes me want to have children for this much. I'll borrow you for one day. You're my child today, okay? Okay. Before Gina gets here, both of you are moms, and like, yes, I was like, I, I know them both well enough that they're not gonna like make a big scene at like a kid's we birthday can adult party. For two hours. Right. You said some crappy things about her, so. I haven't said anything that bad. Yeah, but didn't you say, like, didn't you make fun of her, like, a condo and say, oh my God, how does she live in 1600 square feet? Oh, I did do that. That's what she's pissed about. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm not the only one doing that. Shannon's making fun of her for that, too. 